She gets a notion like this, she wouldn't move you'd set off a stick of dynamite under her. <laughs> well, it just so happens that I'm a jackass assorting. Now, you give a little pull, and I'll give a little push. See, did you ever hear what Mark Twain had to say about these critters? This is Chief Showmore's son. Well, we might as well get this over with. Wait a minute. Don't kill him. Why not? Yeah, we don't want any witnesses. We leave him alive. When he gets to town at the Indian's body, he'll have a hard time explaining he didn't do it himself. Yeah, especially when they start part about an Indian war. We're pulling out anyway. By the time he talks about a stretch in his neck, if he ever does, we'll be a hundred miles away. Let's get that gold. Feels like in here. Well, now that's what I call real convenient. All in gold. Yeah, but this means it's our last haul. If we try it again, it'll be with an army escort. You mean we're pulling out? That's right. As soon as I get back to town, cover our tracks and pick up the dough from the other shipments. Give me the canteen off the barrel. Pour that in here. This is a mighty rich drink. Lennon, you stick around here close. Give Carl and me time to get into Indian Gap and back here. Then we'll pull out. Right. I wonder what it was. Uh, what are you talking about? What Mark Twain said about a jackass. Star, Chief Shomaw's daughter. You know my father? Yes, I've met him. Your brother's riding with a shipper. Is the commissioner No. No, he should be here now. He's never been late before. Do you mind if I wait, miss? No. Morning, Commissioner. A little late, aren't you? I'm afraid so, Sheriff. I was detained at Chief Shomaw's village. You better watch that, Bill. You start coming late to your office, and folks around town won't have anything to set their clocks by. Really, Sheriff, I'm not in that much of a rut. How are things with the Indians? Not good. They're restless. If we don't get a shipment through right quick, I'm afraid we're headed for real trouble. An Indian war? 
Let's hope not. Sorry, I'm late, morning star. I've been with your father. Is he well? Yes, but he's worried. Almost as worried as I am. You cannot blame our tribe. Our people signed papers. They gave our lands to your government. Your government promised the Indians that they'd have everything they needed. Food, medicine, clothing. I know. And we're trying our best to live up to that promise, Morning Star. I understand you've had trouble with previous shipments, Commissioner. This man has been waiting to talk to you. My name's Pat Gallagher, sir. Well, how are you? Yes, we have. We've tried three times to live up to our contract. Three loads of supplies, and not one got through. You think that outlaws would go for tools and groceries, would you? Ordinarily, no. But since that gold strike over in Oro Valley, a can of beans is worth almost as much as a handful of gold nuggets. And a pick and shovel, well, you couldn't get anyone to quote you a price. You think the miners hijacked your wagons? Either that or somebody took the supplies to sell to the miners. I hope I'll have an answer to that sometime today. Mr. Gray does not have to worry this time. Running Fox will keep it safe. Running Fox is her brother. He went along to see that the shipment got through all right. I'm sure you'll have better luck this time. Something's about it. Get a doctor! Oh, it's no use. He's dead. My brother! Well, I got ambushed. They knew just how and when we were coming. How do you suppose they found out? I don't know, but somebody must have tipped them off. I'm afraid this does it, Sheriff. With the gold gone and the chief's son killed, we're sure to have Indian trouble. And the shipment was in gold? We didn't think the miners would take that. They can dig all the gold they need. And the outlaws weren't miners. Where did this happen? Or up in the pass on the cliff trail. Did you tell anybody which way you were coming? No. Commissioner, I think we've got the answer to what happened to your shipment right here. What do you mean? I think that this fellow, whoever he is, killed the Indian and hid the gold. Then rode into town to try to look innocent. Why, you... Wait, Morton, stop. Don't worry, little lady. The law's going to take care of this murderer. Murder? Why, if you only knew... Knew what? Nothing. Right, you're under arrest. I hope you've got the human decency to tell us what happened to that gold. It would mean stopping an Indian uprising. I didn't take it. How can I tell you where it is? Inside. I think you'll be safe here, unless the Indians decide to give you a taste of their kind of justice. Sheriff, you're going to regret this. Maybe. Sure. Yes? You have a minute? I guess so. It isn't generally known, but I've been sent here to sort of check on these missing loads. Oh, is that so? Yes. The man that you've got locked up in here, do you feel that he's guilty? Yes, don't you? No, I have every reason to believe that he isn't. Would you go out and kill an Indian chief's son, take a fortune in gold, and then ride back into town? Well, no, I don't think I would. It doesn't explain what happened to the other three shepherds. You know, i kind of been wondering about that myself. Sure? Are you sure about the commissioner? About the commissioner? What do you mean? He's the only man that knew where, when, and how the consignments were coming in. Even more than you. Is that right, Sheriff? Yes, that's right. What about this morning? Overheard you say that he was always on time. But yet the morning the pack horses were robbed, he was two hours late. Much as I hate to admit it, that makes sense. Then you're not sure of it. Well, nothing you can put your finger on, you understand. Just a feeling I've had for some time. But I'm still not turning my prisoner loose. No, the best idea is to keep him where he is. Make Commissioner Gray or whoever it is. You're pretty sure of themselves. Maybe they'll tip their hand. That's right. Who will buy my little violets? All the still so pure and sweet. Now, excuse me a minute, will you? I see something that needs taken care of. And when you're loaded with this essence, all your friends will feel your presence. Let them smell you for a treat. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, yes, sir. Step right up. Step right up and get the elixir of life. The one and only original swamp water hair tonic. Made out of honest to John swamp water. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, um, you look like you could use a new life, mister. Sorry. Oh, the price is right. Only one silver dollar. And uh, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, sir, isn't that a silver dollar I see there in your shirt pocket? Yes, sir. Here's your bottle of Zerbo. <laughs> I... Ah! Sheriff. Oh. Close for the day. Goodbye, sir. I... I... I didn't give you permission to operate in this town. I'm going to give you 30 days in the calaboose to think it over. Oh, no, no, not the calaboose, sir. I get train sick. Ah, you're thinking of a caboose. Oh, you can't fool me. A caboose is an Indian baby. No. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Can't you speak to your father once more, Morningstar? Chief Shoma has listened to the white man three times now. Even if Running Fox were alive, he would not listen again. I know he has no reason to trust us, but fighting settles nothing. The Indians gave up their land to the white men for the white man's promise. Now that promise is broken. We'll take back our land. Please try and persuade your father. Give us one more chance. Remember how we sent you to school? How we work together? We have been friends. True, we have been friends. But if we meet again, it will have to be his enemies. I can no longer wear these. I still don't see why I have to stay in here. Why don't you just tell them who we are? No, we'd better keep under cover. Give them a chance to tip their hand. If they find out we're government agents, they'll freeze up like a bunch of clams. Yeah, but what if an Indian war party rides into town and tries to scalp me? Stoney, you know that's physically impossible. Yeah, but do the Indians know it? Where were you ambushed? Well, it was up in the cliff trail. There's sort of a break in the rocks, and they had a burrow right across the middle of it. And when I got off to help move it, they jumped us. How many were there? Well, there was three of them. Uh, two was masked, but I'd recognize the third one. I'd better ride out there and see what I can dig up. You wait here for me. Where do you think I'm going? Mighty small party. I wonder what she wants. Do you mind if I practice my pitch? I don't want to get rusty. I don't care. Don't bother me. I don't care if you rust away. Excuse me, sir, but when I see a scalp that's just crying for a treatment with my genuine double distilled swamp water essence, I just can't resist. <laughs> In case you're wondering, sir, the second treatment is on me uh, without any cost to you whatsoever. So don't thank me, thank good old Zerbo. <clears throat> However, to continue your treatments and get that lazy scalp of yours tingling and resonating the way it should, I will be happy to send you without any... I... <clears throat> anything wrong, sir? What do you think? Uh, uh, well, can't we talk this over? No. Uh, help! Murder! Let me out of here! Hey, what's going on there? I told you that if you ever did that to me again, something drastic was going to happen. I'll be glad to refund your money, sir. Help! Police! I've got you in a nice little jail cell. Just you and me, locked in together. You should be in jail. No, no, that's wrong. Now, sir, now! You know what I'm going to do to you? No, Zerbo was never meant to... to do it.
Wait a minute. You're Warren Starr. And you're a friend of my brother's murderer. You've got us all wrong. Here. Let me fix that for you. I don't want to hold you until you get a needle and thread. Let's get one thing straight. My name's Pat Gallagher. My partner and I came here to help you. You expect me to believe that? Oh, well, yes. What else would I be doing here? Picking up the gold that your partner stole from us before he went to jail. That would look bad, but what can I do to convince you? See if I can't outflank it. to die that way. It might have led us to where they hid the gold. Now we'll have to find it ourselves. I think you really mean that. I wish I could trust you. Maybe this will help you trust me. This was given to me by the chief of the Paiutes. My father's cousin. He told me it was a symbol of trust that his red brothers would honor. That is true. Would you wear that when you talk to your father? Ask him if you give a white man another chance to prove his honor. He will listen, but nothing will prevent him from making war. Not even if we find the gold in the murder of your brother? Well, then he would listen and heed. But... That's strange. What? One of our bullets hit this canteen. And there's leaking. Yeah, that's mighty heavy water. It still doesn't pour out. Solved. Now all we have to do is find the murder of your brother. He must have been waiting here for the others to return. Hey, that's it. Now all we have to do is to set a trap for him. This will be our bait. Will you do something for me? I want you to ride into town. Go to the jail. Give this to Stoney. Stoney? Mr. Stoney? I have a message for you from Mr. Gallagher. It's about time you get me out of this rat trap. Oh, yeah, that ought to work. It's pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. How do I know that Pat gave you this message for me? You know, this could be just a trick to get me hung. Have you ever seen this before? All right, I'll do it. What do you want? Well, I thought you might be interested. To... I'd like to confess. You're what? You've been drinking too much of that swamp water, chum! My conscience was bothering me, and if you let me out of here, I'll take you to where I hid the gold. Well, you better be on the level, because if you try anything funny, I'll shoot you down in your tracks. Come on. Let me out of here! I'll take this to the Supreme Court! Morning. 
same story. You've come back. Only to bring you news. Of your father? Of the prisoner. He's ready to confess. Is that the truth? He's going to bring the sheriff to where they hid the money. There's some things I don't understand. But come on. We should go with him. Hello, Tom. Hello, Commissioner. You heard the news? About the prisoner? Yes, Morningstar told me. Mind if we come along? No, I guess not. I brought Carl along as a special deputy to help guard him. much help to you in court, but at least you're telling us the truth. What's the matter, Sheriff? Surprised to find water in a canteen? You weren't expecting to find gold pieces, were you, Sheriff? It's a trap, Carl. Run for it. the third one. He caught me. The other one shot your brother. <laughs> What's happening to your friend? Sure. You've got some explaining to do. Get going. There's the other one. The one that went over the cliff is the one that shot your brother. What about the gold? There it is, Commissioner. I haven't counted it, but I guess it's all there. Say, uh, we found a lot more money in the sheriff's saddlebags. That must be the money they received from selling soul and goods to the miners. You're not going to fall for this act, are you, Bill? Can't you see they're trying to bluff their way out of it? I don't quite follow you, Tom. Well, I've never been within miles of this place before. How come you thought the gold was still in the canteen? Why, well, my prisoner told me. He said he wanted to confess. Well, how could I tell you? I never knew about it myself. I've got an ironclad alibi. He'll never prove I was here. That won't be so tough to do. You know, Commissioner, first time I saw the sheriff, I noticed he wasn't wearing his badge so everybody could see it. That's right, Tom. You always did before, and until today. I'm not being an Indian giver. Just let me borrow this for a moment. I found this pin right here. It doesn't mean much. It only means it was broken off this badge. Hey, that's right. Running Fox tore the shirt of one of them with his knife. You're guilty, Tom. There's no doubt of it. That's pinning it on him, Pat. You're under the arrest by the United States government, sure. My people owe you a debt of gratitude. My people owe you a great deal more. Thanks for trusting me. I did not at first. Perhaps you had better take this. I'd rather that you had it. As long as you wear this, I'll always be a brother to you. Thank you, my brother. Perhaps you will have more need of it. Now we'll take this gold back to your father. Thanks, Pat. Is that what they call the Indian sign? Come on, let's get out of here.